back with another video. Brian, Lilly, uh, Brian Lilly's really on a roll here. He's uh, really uh, speaking a lot of truth the last couple of days. So I just want to you know react to another video where he says Canadians will side with Pierre Polyev, not Trudeau. I'm getting tough on crime, and this is a very uh, important thing for Canadians to watch too. So like usual, we're gonna have a listen, just a couple minute video, and then we'll talk about it after. The world's want you to know that they are there to protect the rights of criminals. Hi, I'm Ryan Lilly, political columnist for the Toronto Sun. For the last little while, the Liberals have been pushing hard that Pierre Polyev wants to take away their rights, your rights. What are they talking about? Well, it was a couple of weeks ago, Pierre Polyev was speaking to the Canadian Police Association when he said that if judges want to strike down laws about getting tough on criminals like multiple murderers having harsh sentences, he's willing to use the notwithstanding clause. That set the Liberals off, and now they're trying to say that they're trying to take away your rights. Here's Karina Gold, Liberal Cabinet Minister and high-ranking member of Trudeau's inner circle, just talking about that in a video posted this weekend. Two weeks ago, Mr. Polyev said the quiet part out loud. In speaking with the Canadian Police Association, he casually mentioned that he was going to make his own laws and use the notwithstanding clause to make them charter compliant. <laughs> he basically said that he was going to start taking away the rights of Canadians. You know what? I'm willing to bet that most Canadians are on board with pushing back against judges who have become far too lenient in striking down laws that get tough on criminals. And often, as I've documented in column after column, judges are now doing this not based on the case before them, but they invent a hypothetical case and then say, now in this instance, that would be charter, uh, that would not be charter compliant, and they strike down the law. That's not how things should operate. That's not how our courts should operate. And judges shouldn't have that the ability to do that. Using the notwithstanding clause is actually part of the charter, by the way. It's section 33 of the charter. And anyone who uses it has to renew it at, after five years, which means they've got to go to the public. So if any politician goes too far, like the locals are telling them, uh, well, you get voted out. You get voted out before it gets renewed. The liberals don't have a clue on this issue. And if there's going to be an election on getting tough on criminals or being more lenient, I know which side the Canadian public is going to be on. Let me know what you think. Trump. Yeah, I couldn't agree more, right? Like, and again, this is more this is liberal fear mongering, right? This is, it's all they're doing. They're just trying to scare you. Pierre Polyev is going to take away your rights. He's going to get rid of abortion. He's like Trump. He's like this. Oh my God, the boogeyman. It's not true. He just wants it so that murderers go to jail. And it seems like the liberals, they just want to defend the, the rights of murderers. But yet the, the people who they've murdered, do they get a right to live? I think they should have a right to live. I think that person, whoever gets murdered, I, I, would, I would like to hope that her mom has the right to not have to go to her son's funeral because of horrible bullshit liberal policies. Pierre Polyev isn't trying to make up his new make up new laws. He's trying to force judges to stop being so lenient on murderers. Good. And like Brian Lilly said, most Canadians are going to agree with that. And, and again, if they don't, you have to renew the the with the notwithstanding clause after five years. He'll get voted out if he goes too far. Justin Trudeau would probably know a thing or two about going too far, right? During a certain uh, pandemic. Weren't our rights infringed on when he evoked the Emergency Act? Which, by the way, for those of you who don't agree that he did um, interfere with our rights, the federal court agrees with me. Now, that doesn't mean Pierre, uh, Trudeau, Trudeau is going to go to jail, uh, it, but it does mean he might. Now, he's going to, of course, appeal this and it's going to go to the Supreme Court and it's probably going to take forever. That being said, if they find him guilty, yeah, he could be facing jail time. And they should be finding him guilty because he's absolutely guilty of doing that. Federal courts made that very clear. Now, then again, maybe Justin Trudeau will pull out some of his trust fund money and bribe some people. Who knows what kind of corruption is going to go on. But And this is something that Pierre Polyev also needs to kind of hammer on. He should be bringing this up that, hey, you know, you've been found guilty by the federal court for infringing on our rights. So how are you going to tell Canadians that I'm the one who's going to infringe on their rights when you already did it? You got the playbook. I don't want that playbook. I'm doing something different. 
right? And of course, people are going to say, yeah, but what if Pierre Polyev sees the power that Justin Trudeau has used, and now he wants to use it for himself, but in a right-wing way? Well, liberals, this is why you don't let your party do it, and this is why you hold them accountable. You don't want, it's not that liberals don't want any party to be authoritarian or totalitarian. They just don't want the other side to do it. But they were just fine when Justin Trudeau did it. So if Pierre Polyev does that, and I honestly hope that he doesn't, he starts taking away some lefty rights. It's like, well, hey, didn't you get what you asked for? What goes around comes around, right, guys? But you're too busy seeing through your liberal goggles. Well, no, it's he's not infringing your rights. He's just forcing you to do something. Well, wait a minute. I, my body, my choice, though, right, liberals? See how liberal math and liberal logic just doesn't even make any sense? And again, you know, I hope that Pierre Polyev does not do anything crazy or, you know, overstep his power. But that being said, if he does, then when the liberals get mad at it, it's like, well, hey, guys, you're only mad at it when the right does it. But when the left does it, it's okay. And that's bullshit. People like me who are in the middle, more independent or populist, libertarian, whatever you want to call me, we don't see it that way where, you know, well, we hope one side does it, but not the other. No, we don't want either side to do it because we know it's bad. No government should be overstepping their rights or over they're overstepping their power to infringe on our rights. And that's what the liberals have done. So maybe Pierre Polyev does it. I hope not. But the one thing I hope that Pierre Polyev does is I hope he does get tough on crime. 30% rise in Canada in crime in the past few years, 30%. And it's even easier to get out of jail or avoid jail than it's ever been. So what do they do? They keep committing crimes. It's, it's sad to see. And again, Trudeau's not stupid. This is all on purpose. Let them destroy themselves. We'll divide them and then we conquer. And they have so much power, we can't do anything about it. If the government gets too big and too powerful, Now, now, now you're stuck. That's why if you notice in communist countries, you can vote it in, but you can't vote it out because it makes the government too big and too damn powerful and too corrupt. And they'll do everything they can to keep that power because it comes with a, lot, with a lot of money, obviously. So, you know, and that's why we need more of a populist leader, kind of someone like what Pierre Polyev is saying he is, is someone that we need. Is he going to follow through on that? I don't know. I hope so. That being said, I think that most Canadians, along with me, trust Pierre Polyev to do something better than what Trudeau would do. Yeah, Pierre Polyev is not going to be perfect. There's going to be things we disagree on. But just please restore the financial status of this country because we desperately, desperately need it. And if you don't do that, you're going to lose an entire class of people. And that would be really sad to see in a first world country that has just said, hey, um, we had a strong middle class in the 70s and the 80s. Now they're gone. They're just poor people now. Because they can't afford a you know, $3,000 for a two-bedroom apartment, which is what it will be in like 10 years from now if it doesn't change. Right? So we definitely need to be, we need someone tougher on crime. We need someone to drop these stupid taxes. We need someone to build houses. You know, we need, you know, cheaper rent. We need so many different things. And the biggest problem in can biggest problems in Canada are financially rated. So we need someone who is a fiscal conservative to come in here and clean up this mess that the liberal government has caused. Hopefully that's Pierre Paul Yevon. Hopefully he follows through on his word. Hopefully we can clean up the streets and we can have a nice country again. Only time will tell. So that's going to be it today for uh, this video, guys. I'll be back shortly with another one. Thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you later.